edition of Your Healthy Family, a Colorado Springs engineer is using his hobby to help kids who are missing limbs. News 5's Annie Sneed shows us how one man's generosity is changing children's lives. This has become a every night, every weekend, life-consuming task. Uh, I do this about six hours every night after work. I really love just making things. No matter what I need, I can make it. If I need a PVC pipe, okay, I'll make it. If I need you know, some parts for my bike, I'll make it. Or if you need snow, new snowboard bindings. If I need a part for my car, I broke it the other day. Well, you can design your own. I can go ahead and print that off my computer. 3D printing, is, it takes a picture from the computer and it stacks it layer upon layer. And it's made out of plastic. It runs a plastic filament in that picture and then you have a part. Clay Guillory is a robotics engineer in Colorado Springs, but when he gets home, he's busy with his hobby. And what you can do with it is very surprising. Surprising indeed. Clay's most recent piece of work was custom designed with a specific purpose for eight-year-old Dominic Martinez. I've been excited this whole week. Born without a left hand, that hasn't stopped him from doing what every other kid does. There's nothing that he can't do. Mom Nicole recently saw a story about a man making one for his son. I was like, oh, that is really neat. So she started researching ways to find Dominic one. I think it's just the fact that he just wanted just to see how it feels to have a hand. She found Clay on Craigslist when she was looking to purchase a 3D printer. And he offered to print it for her. He used a kit from Enabling the Future. It's a volunteer organization. They're across the world. Volunteers made up of engineers, artists, and many others, giving a helping hand to kids like Dominic. Very cool. I have a lot of new stuff I can try out now, besides games. We were there as Dominic got his hand. What do you think? Great. And all this is adjustable, so there's mm -hmm. some tensioners here. When he pulls his wrist down, mm -hmm. the hand actuates. Maybe so. you can pick it up. In just a few tries, Dominic picks up a toy off the floor. Yeah, there it is. A 30 hour project well <laughs> worth the rewards for Clay. Very cool. When I'm going to grab something, uh -huh. I need to get it close to the thumb because it goes towards this. It was a really good feeling, giving it to Dominic and seeing how it probably will change his life for the better. Nicole says her son loves to stay active and is an avid skateboarder, but there's a few things he struggles with. He really loves, like, baseball, and it's been really hard for him to hold a bat. So I think he's going to really try <laughs> to use that. And the third grader says there's one thing he's been waiting to do. To go watch the new Transformers with my hand. Can you fist bump? Annie Sneed. <laughs> with photojournalist Dennison Howard, News 5. Oh, that is fantastic. It is. Oh, what a beautiful story. Now, we talked to Nicole today, and guess what? Dominic went to see Transformers and loved it. Yeah, he started school yesterday, and his mom says all the kids love his hand. He's been practicing picking things up with it since he got it. How about a News 5 high five? Wow. And for the... For Dominic. And the designing engineer. Absolutely. Boy, just brilliant there. That's terrific. Great stuff. We'll still ahead on News 5 at 10.